Hi guys, I'm Siddharth, a Flutter developer at DSCVIT. Today, we are going to be talking about RxDart, an introduction to RxDart. So, what is RxDart? It is a library for async programming. It uses the concept of observables. It supports a large number of languages. So, what are observables? The ReactiveX observable model allows you to treat streams of asynchronous events with the same sort of simple composable operations that you use for collections of data items like IRIS. It frees you from tangled web of callbacks and thereby makes your code more readable and less prone to bugs. Basically, it is an extension of a stream. For example, uh, you're observing something for a while. That's what an observable is. It's the same thing as a string, right? stream, right? Now, fun fact, RxDart now uses Dart's extension methods. So what are extension methods? It is used when you have to extend a class with some required functionality. For example, if a library has a function to return temperature in Kelvin, but not Celsius, you need not ex extend the entire class. You can just extend the class with the required functionality using extension methods. And uh, versus Dart streams, I've listed out uh, how Rx ob observables are different. Now, it includes all of these classes to create custom streams. We have repeat stream, ray stream, zip stream, so many things and it also uses extension methods so there are a multitude of extension methods you can use we are going to see one of these called debounce now rx dart adds two more stream controllers on uh, like dart provides a stream controller but rx dart adds two more to it behavior subject only stores the latest value while replay subject stores everything and returns everything. As an example for this, we're going to use the GitHub search app available on the RX start GitHub repo. I have listed up the steps over here. First, you need to clone it. Then you need to go to this directory under examples, then flutter, then GitHub search. Over here, you need to uh, execute these commands, flutter pub get and flutter packages get and then Flutter run, provided you have Flutter installed on your system. Now, this is how the app looks like. The, it searches for the repository through GitHub API and it starts showing the result after 250 milliseconds after user starts typing. It uses Rx start for waiting for 250 milliseconds, converting the item into a stream and starting with the specific state. Now, Rx start in use. If you navigate to library lib slash search block dot dot inside the example app, you will find a factory function called search block. Here, on text change is a published subject type of string. What is published subject? It allows sending data, error, and done events to the listener. Here, it works with syncs. Now, if you say this here, you have used the function uh, distinct to see if the text has changed. If it has changed, we wait for 250 milliseconds using debounce time. It is an extension method provided by rxdart, as we saw before. Then we use switch map. It is also a function provided by rxdart to convert an item into a stream. It is useful when you have to fetch the latest state from an async API. So here, the mapper function is search. It maps the uh, it maps the result of the API to the current to the corresponding state. So if it is success, it will show populated, and if it has error, it will yield the error state. Now uh, the error is error or the success as in result is passed to the UI and the UI listens for these states and shows the correct response accordingly. So if uh, it is successful, we see the result like this over here.
If you like this video and want an in-depth video on Rx Start and how to use it with Block, please like and comment on this video so we can more, make more such videos. Thanks a lot and happy Flutter Day.